Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add in kind of something like uh, bullets or something that immediately happens when you shoot. And I'll kind of, I'll show you what I mean, right? So if you look at this here, basically we shoot a ball and it takes some time for the ball to get to the wall. So what happens if we were to like stand here and shoot and instantly you would see something on the wall there. Well, this is actually really easy to do, but it takes, a I mean, it's really easy to do once you know how to do this, but it might not be so straightforward. So let's go ahead, let's hop into the first person character, and what we're going to do first is we are going to test this out, and then we're going to move this over to kind of replace the current projectile. So first of all, we're going to use an event tick, and in this event tick, we are going to do a line trace by channel. Okay, and what this is going to do is it's going to trace a line from the start to the finish. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to player, camera, manager. Okay, and we need two things out of this manager. We need the uh, location and it is, um, it's to be get actor location. Yes, get actor location and get forward vector get actor forward vector okay then we need to multiply multiply I actually spent a long time adding this and you don't add this you multiply this and I'm gonna make it something like 20,000 this here is the length of the line okay so imagine you're in a room and if that line isn't big enough to reach the end of the room it will not work okay so here we go 20,000 then we're gonna add vector and we're simply going to add these two vectors. Now, for whatever reason, sometimes this doesn't work. Okay, and if it doesn't work, I'll show you how. Okay, so let's drag everything here and let's do the persistent here. And what you should see here is you should see all the lines here. Uh, and this is what the line is doing it's tracing a line into the wall. Okay, and it's persistent, meaning that I can show you and you can see it kind of moving around. But there's a bit of a problem. I want to show you that problem, okay? So if I go up here and I kind of move it down, you'll notice that there's an offset. Why there's a specific offset, I'm not quite sure. It probably has something to do with you using the camera. I've tried it with the gun, doesn't work. But we can just simply add in, um, we can subtract vector, okay? And all we're going to do here is subtract 100 or actually a thousand okay but this is key All right, so let's try that again um, and uh, oh here we go yes okay so that works like that and now you can see it's where the crosshair is okay I know that can be a little bit weird so let's just do one frame and that way you can kinda see where it's tracking and it's pretty good um, and anyway, so, so that's not bad. Okay. Now, couple things, cause this is really finicky here. You subtract this from the end point, not the start point. The start point still goes from this actor. So maybe take a couple seconds, it's not working. Take a couple seconds to look at this. Believe it or not, it was, <laughs> it, it was, it was kind of, uh, uh, it wasn't working the way I wanted it to, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, okay? Just copy all that here, and we're going to replace this first-person projectile here. So I'm just going to delete that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this sound here. So we're going to play the sound first, and then I'm going to just simply paste everything in here and kind of move it up top here. And I'm not really worried about um, format of this for now. Um, just because I want to do that here. 
And what this is going to do is we uh, is basically every time you click, it's going to do this line channel here. Okay. Next up, we need to drag off the off hit. Let me just and then put break hit results. And from the location, we are going to spawn emitter at location. Okay. And this emitter. Here, and we have to hook this up, by the way. So maybe just make it like that. So once it hits, it takes the location, drag it in here. All of this is the same. What if we could really do anything here? Um, we could do sparks, but let's put the explosion. So literally nothing changes other than the explosion. All right, and that's it. And actually, just for fun, let's do the sparks. That's cool. And I guess it's persistent because it just stays there. Well, that's kind of neat. <laughs> cool. Anyway, um, explosion works the best. And here you go. And a couple, so let me just dissect this one last time for you. The reason why you can still see it is because in this debug, we have the one frame. So that way you can kind of see where it's going to get hit. The second thing we did, we just literally copied all of that stuff. To the line trace by channel. Now, if you really wanted to, you could put this in its own function. That might be a little bit better. But this is just an example, so you can see. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, you can see that it does an auto destroy here. Um, so that also works too. And you can see here that, you know, pretty much you can spawn anything you want, but these explosions don't look so bad. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content, especially the free content we can make. This channel, as of this video, is not yet monetized. So please help us out. See you in another video.